All right, guys, today is the day. Welcome back to Duca's Farms. And I am cleaning out this barn, or at least as much as I can get all this trash out. Save what we can save for you. When we bought this place, we were really, really, really excited to see an old barn and there was an old shed. And so the first few times we came, we like, oh great, we can, re we can redo them. And so the shed, which you can kind of see a little bit of it sticking up over there, um, it ended up not being something that we could really save. So we took it apart and I rebuilt it into my chicken coop. And then this barn, we thought, oh man, I don't know if we can actually afford to get this barn fixed and keep it up. But we were looking at it, and you'll have to forgive the mess. We haven't gotten to cleaning it out. This is how we bought it. <laughs> but we realized that the four corners are good, the rafters are good. And what we need to do is put new posts in the middle, put concrete footings, and I think we can save this barn. So this barn was originally the milking barn on this place. You can see all the stanchions, they even have an old milking machine. We make this our tack room. Um, I'll have a stall that's big enough to house a couple goats and a couple baby goats. And then the far end will be for our milk cow and her babies over there. Um, this was actually once historically a milk barn. It still has the old milking machine and the pipes running along the stanchions. That's where the cow puts his head in um, and can eat while you milk. It makes, my cow loves milking time because she gets her grain. So we'll get this all picked up, save what we can save. And then at some point we'll be able to start taking the walls off. At least three of the walls need to go. I think they're the one with the um, stanchions and the feeders are, are all okay, but the rest of the walls have to come down. We need to put some new middle supports in and then a new roof on this. I think we're gonna do a metal or tin roof um, and keep as much as we can on the current roof. So let's get started. So here is a stanchion. Finn, can you open and shut that for me? Open it and then shut it. Yeah, and that holds the cow's neck in, huh? <laughs> we have a lot to clean inside here, I think. What is that you're stepping on? Hey, Watch your hands. I don't want you to touch all this barbed wire here. Mama! It's starting to get there, though, a little bit better. So I thought it could be interesting to see what we have in these buckets. They have something in them. Who knows what it could be. Set to where you can see me. He'll open them up and see what's inside. We have corn. And I don't even want to know what's in there. It's like this thick sludge in you. And it's... Bleh. Or something rotted. So, I regret opening that. This will definitely go on the trailer. So far, we found some good treasures today. And I ended up keeping some of the barbed wire that I had found that would be great for the um, stretch fences and stretch gates. You never know when you can use it. I only kept about half of it. I found a garbage can in here to stick it all in and that's as much as I kept. And then we found some really cool old windows. I always love the old windows. They've got, they've been abused a little bit and I think my boys stepped on them, but this one actually has the glass left back in it. And then I'm not sure what this is, but I thought I'd find out. It's made out of wood. 
and I just have no idea. So if any of you know and have an idea, let me know because I would be curious. Well, thanks for joining us today as we cleaned out this barn. It's getting there. There's still some more work to do, but we'll just keep picking at it and hopefully get this thing so we can make it a little bit more usable for our family. Thank you so much. Bye.